Miguelito, how are you? Long time without seeing you, man. Hey. Hi, Ale. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hey, pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself? Uh, I'm good, too. I'm yes. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that. It looks like that. Yeah. It was a tough day like yesterday or more relaxed? Now it was more relaxed. Ah, I'm so happy to see to hear that. Yes, yeah. because yesterday you yeah. were like, mm. <laughs> I, know. I know. I feel a little sick yesterday. I have oh, a, yeah. a sore throat um, problem. Yeah, but I'm, now I'm not. You're okay. Up, uh, okay. You know what? Maybe Lulu help you. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Did she sleep with you? No? Lulu? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes uh, uh, on the floor or over the over the bed? Yeah, in the bed with me, on the bed. Yeah, <laughs> really? Like, give you a hug? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. She, she stay um, uh, around my feet. <laughs> uh -huh. and, she, she warm your feet, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, how old is Lulu, Ale? She's uh, five years old. Oh, five years. So she's still young. Oh, yeah. I, I I like her. She she's like chestnut, but chestnut is bigger, right? Yeah, I think chestnut is bigger. Yeah. Do you but like not... him? Yeah, hey, do it's... you like the picture that I share with you guys? Yeah. Uh, you see, Shesna was a little baby, right? Like this. And then he's like, he's really huge and big. No, he's middle. He's middle. Yeah. Yeah, but he's really but, cute and lovely. What about Mr. Whiskey? Do you like whiskey? Yeah, they both are the same um, height, no? No, uh, whiskey is the father, but whiskey is smaller than chestnut. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chesnut is a little bit tall. Yeah. yeah, it's because Chesnut is a Bijon Maltese and Whiskey is Terrier with a Schnauzer. Oh, yeah. So he's a little bit, you, can you imagine? The father is more modern than the son. <laughs> yeah, but he's beautiful. I love them. Yeah, right now, I don't know. I think they went run out of, I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> if, if they come, I will also say hi, okay? Hey. We have, hey, you see, Ale, we have Miguelito here. Hi, Miguelito, what happened? Long time without us uh, listen to you. Hey, hello, teacher, how are you? Pretty good, so happy to see you again. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm too happy to see you here. Yeah, me too. Where have you been, my friend? Uh, I was very busy with my job. I, I, I imagine. But I'm so yeah. happy that you're here because basically we are uh, talking about really good job, uh, um, topic okay. this is a topic that we started yesterday miguelito but and today okay. we're going to continue and also okay. we left a uh, homework right ali hopefully everybody did oh, that yeah. homework right don't worry miguelito yeah. i'm not going to ask you to participate because you were not okay. here yesterday but i want you to pay attention of your classmates okay okay of course thank you miguelito for being here thank you too. hey i have why juancito the best hi juancito Hello, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm so happy. Yeah. What happened yeah. with the best? You didn't put your the best. What happened? I missed that phrase, the best. Today, no. Today, no. Come on. <laughs> hey, maybe tomorrow, okay? <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Okay, maybe. Hey, there's there's yes. a song for maybe tomorrow. I, I don't remember, but I think so, right? Yeah. You know what? I have a son in my mind and then disappear. I don't know why, but don't worry. I will I will try to remember that. And Janet, what about you, Janet? How's your day going so far? Janet, Janet, Miss Janet. Oh my God, I think something happens with her. Or maybe she's not there. <laughs> or maybe, yes, she, she stood, up, stood up and go and bring coffee. All right, so let's wait for her. Iris, what about you? How are you, Iris? Hello. Hello. Um, no, nothing special. I stay nothing special? At home. Okay. Because I feel sick. Oh my God, are you sick? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. But did you went to the doctor or took any pill already? Uh, I, I, I take medicine, medicine, but 
How do you say medicina casera? How do you say that, guys? Help her. Mm. Homemade, homemade medicine. <laughs> Home medicine. <laughs> yeah, homemade, homemade <laughs> medicine. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, like um, chamomile tea or maybe like um, lemon tea, right? Something like that. Yeah. Chicken soup. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it really works, actually, because it makes you like sweat, right? Like a peak, like, oof. Yes, and that helps you. Oh, that's good. You know what? Home remedies are good, really good. You can say also home remedies as well. Okay. Very good. But I'm so happy, Iris, that even though you don't feel too well, you're still here. I'm so happy. Thank you, Thank you Iris. Mr. Ivan, where have you been, my friend? Hello, teacher. Hello. Well. Hey, how are you? Fine. Thank Fine. you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, me too, because uh, uh, I saw you again. So that's good. That's amazing. Yeah, yesterday I couldn't connect to the class yes i noticed that what happened to you my grandma moved from oh. santa ana to to here Ooh, so okay we help her to to unpack everything oh so you put in practice yesterday's favor right yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly when somebody asks you to help them with the move right move to a new apartment a new house okay so you're really grand great grandson no, no, you're not great grandson. You're a really amazing grandson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay, I okay, I forgive you, but never do it again. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay. No, that's okay. I'm so happy to see you. Hey, what happened with your camera? Uh, you're, put it. I think you're even though you're a disaster, that's okay. Oh my god, look at his background. Okay, <laughs> I don't know when every time that he's like moving your eyebrows. <laughs> excellent job. Oh, I, I love your background, my man. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Someday. Someday. Yeah, later on. It could be. Okay, I have uh, Janet. No, I have Janita. Thank you, Jani. Hi, Jani. How are you, girl? Jani's not here? Yeah. We got to wait. Hey, let's ask for Janet. Janet, are you still here? Did you already came back? I don't think so. Okay, let's wait for her. Okay, guys, let me ask you something also to help uh, Miguelito because um, for he like to have a recap. Do you remember, guys, what we saw yesterday? What we saw yesterday? Yeah, we ask a about what? About? about ask a favor. Uh huh. Exactly. About requests, right? About requests. Awesome. Very good. Guys, we have a lot of ways to make a request, but yesterday we saw three ways to say it. Do you remember which ones? With models. With models. If, if, With clause. if clauses, yes. And the third one? Yeah. Gerunds. Gerunds, very good, exactly. With models, we saw can and could, right? But there are more, but we saw uh, those two. Um, Juancito, do you remember one question with can? Um, Only one. Um, I don't remember where were we. Okay. Hey, do you have your WhatsApp? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can double check on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will give you a chance. Um, you... I don't know, you homework uh -huh. for today is no not the homework, not the homework. The, the example. The example of, that we saw yesterday. Check on the WhatsApp, once it check on the WhatsApp. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Take your time, no rush. The topic, the... Uh -huh. Do you remember the little square that I sent you? Yes. Okay, so Request take a look at this one. Uh -huh. with clothes and Jordan. Exactly, very good. Juancito, now we're talking about with models, right? Can you please read for me the first question that is there? Yes. Read it. 
can I borrow your pen, please? Very good. Thank you, Juancito. Can I borrow your pen, please? Okay, guys, in that particular uh, question or request, uh, do you remember that we use present tense, right? With the verbs, present. And what about if we use the, the word please? It is at the end of the question, right? But what we put before the word please, what is the punctuation that we use? Comma. Comma. Very good. So when I said, can I borrow your pen, please? Is it formal or less formal? Mm, less, less formal. Less formal. Yeah, very good. What about the second one? Uh, do you have the WhatsApp with, with you, Ivan? Yeah, it, can you please read for me the second, que the second question, please? It reads, could you lend me a jacket, please? Very good. You're also using the model verse, right? And it's still, well, could is more formal than can. But, uh, yes. is, but it still is, is not, it's less formal, okay? And in both guys, in both questions, you can see that the, the verb, in this case, borrow for the first question, and land for the second question are in present. Can I borrow? Okay. Could you land? Do you remember what is land, Juancito, Ivan, Ali? What is land? Uh, asking for money. Asking for money. Press start. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. And also the third one. Is it okay if I use your phone? That's another way, right? More polite. But now... We come, guys, with one phrase in particularly that is use if. Who can help me read the fourth one? Iris, uh, do you have the WhatsApp with you? Open it. Yes, number four. Yes, please. Uh, do you need a few, if you, your laptop for a minute? Very good. Do you mind? Do you mind if I use? Very good. That's another question. Do you mind? What is it that means in Spanish? Te importaría? Do you mind if? All right. That is an if clause, guys. Very good. But in this one, let me ask you. The verb is use. Do we still use it in present or not? Yes, yes right? Okay. Hey, Miguelito, are you following us? Do you already open the WhatsApp? Yes, I got it. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Now let's double check, guys. A one that is really different which is basically, um, would you mind if, would you mind if I borrow your new camera? In that particular question, guys, the verb, which, what is the verb there? Would you mind if I borrow? Which one is the verb? Past, past tense. It's a past tense, borrowed, right? That is really, really interesting that you take a look because if you said, if you, would you mind if, if you use if, after would you mind the verb that in this case is borrowed is the gotta be in past that you have to focus on that okay what it does how do you translate that into spanish ivan or ale or juancito i don't know iris eh, te importaría quizá importaría si me ah. prestas uh, yes, Iris, very good. Te importaría si tomo prestado, if I borrowed. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Exactly. So, guys, if you use if after, would you mind? The verb is going to be in the past. But take a look at, this, at the question that follows it. Because the other one, would you mind? In the second, would you mind? Do I use if or I don't use if? In the second one. Would you mind? Mm. The one that say babysitting. Don't use if. Yeah, we do not use if. So guys, when you when you use the expression, would you mind without if? The verb is going to be gerund. Okay. Would you mind babysitting? My kids. Mm. Okay, that is really important. If you use if, the verb that follows that if, it has to be in the past. But if you do not use if, the verb that follows, would you mind, yeah. is going to be in ing form. Yes, Juancito? Do you understand yes. now? Yes, I got it. You got it? Cool. Yeah. Excellent. All righty. 
Very good. Okay, let's continue. Uh, the last one. I was wondering if I could borrow some money. This one, guys, the last, the last expression that we saw right yesterday is the more formal, okay? More formal. And this one is really different, you see, because we saw, we use the past tense, I was. We use the gerund, I was wondering. We use if, and we use modal verb, could. That's amazing, right? Interesting. So this is like yeah. the complement of everything. So yeah, you have three. Exactly. Use the three of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but only with this one. Okay. I was wondering if, like, like the like the girls, right? Uh, I don't know Beatriz or maybe Alejandro <laughs> or maybe Juancito. Juancito, you have kids, right? Yes. He's, okay, he's happy. He's, he's yes. Playing. <laughs> yes. Okay. So Juancito, for example. You, you said you, you can tell your, your kids, okay, okay, you want to watch TV, okay? Yeah, daddy, all right. Okay, but you got to do your homework first. That's what you said, right? So, is a baby girl or a baby boy, Juancito? Or both? Both. Both, okay. Ima the girls, right? Imagine that the girls were really nice, right, girls? We're really nice and lovely and chantajistas. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> so, you said, imagine that your girl said, daddy. Yeah, and I already finished my homework, so I was wondering if I could watch the TV now. Huh? <laughs> you see, they're like that, right? So the last one, Juancito and everybody, the last one is like asking a favor in a soft way, but pretending to obtain what you want. Okay, so you see, yeah. I was wondering if, right? Of course, you're not going to say that with my tone of voice. You'll say, you will say, I was wondering if, right? <laughs> with a man tone of voice. Okay, so you see, the last one is the more polite, but it's like asking a favor, guys, but in a seduced way, okay? Yes. Very good. <laughs> so you will always forget it, never forget that, right? Daddy, you see? <laughs> All righty. So, guys, uh, after we saw that, and that is like a recap also for Ivan and for, for, uh, for Michael. Miguelito, do you have any doubts so far? No, everything is clear. Like horchata or like water? Like, uh, like a water. Like a water. Okay, thank you so much. All righty. Okay, so I remember, guys, that also I send you your homework, right? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alejandro said, yeah, right. Okay, hi, Bev. Yeah. How are you? Good night. Hi, Heidi. Welcome. Yoo -hoo. All right, guys. So this is the thing. Let's open it. Um, right now, let's open the, the homework. I think it will be like six sentences, right? No, five sentences and one question. So let's open it right now, guys. And I want you guys to read for me. Read for me the, the sentences. But like the way it is. For example, Ale, can you please read for me the first sentence? Like the way it is? Yeah. It's, uh, lend me some money for a soda. Okay, lend me some money for a soda. Now do me a favor. Try rewrite yeah. that sentence and make it to sound more like a request, my more polite way. You can use models, gerunds, or if costs. Uh, I was wondering if you could lend me some money for a soda. Very good. Uh, and now do me a favor. Pick one of your classmates, anybody, and you ask that uh, favor, and the other person will be agree or disagree. Okay. Uh, but the same yeah the, the same the same question the same the one that you have already said it okay um <laughs> beatrice yeah i, I knew was it <laughs> uh -huh. i was wondering <laughs> i was wondering if you could lend me some money for a soda be nice bea don't be like that <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh no, that's so cold. Yes, I'd be glad to. I'm a really generous girl like that. You mean, come on. Uh-huh. Yes, I Ah, okay. To, to lend, lend you. 
someone for us all. Oh my God, you're so lovely. You're the Auntie Bea, the Auntie Bea. Yeah. Very good, yeah. Okay, good. Bea, now that you answer, do me a favor. Uh, go to the WhatsApp and read the second sentence first. The second one. Ah, the second one. Mm -hmm. The original form. Oh. No, the one that says return these books to the library for me. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. For the homework. Yeah. Oh. Would you mind if you return uh, this book to the library for me? To the library for me? Again. To the again. library for me. Again. No. Go ahead. Would you mind if you return? These books to the library for me. Okay, who you're going to ask that favor? Who, which one of your uh, classmates? Pick one, anybody. Miguel. Miguelito, okay, Miguelito. <laughs> okay, I, I would like to, but I, I don't have any time to do it. Okay, that is a polite <laughs> way to say no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you said, yeah. Oh my God, yeah, he doesn't mean like that. He yeah, said, no. yeah. <laughs> At least That's he's okay, honest, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miguelito. You're so nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you, guys. Okay, Juancito, double check number three, please. Um, number three. Read it like the way it is. Read it like the way it is. Would you mind let me let me borrow you much homework? Ah, would you mind if I borrowed your math homework? Okay. Who you're going to ask that that favor or uh huh? Who to who? Pick any classmate. Um, Mr. Ivan. Ivan. Okay, Ivan. They ask you that favor. Would you mind letting me borrow your math, your math, or math? Your math, your math for your mathematics, math. Uh-huh. Okay, Ivan, answer, please. Sure, my boy. Here you have. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Thank At you. Least, yeah, we have a really generous guy, right? Yeah. Very yeah. good. Thank you. <laughs> now, Mr. Ivan, could you please be so kind to read a number four for us? I'd like to borrow your phone, your cell phone to call my friend in London. Okay, that's the way it is. Now transform it to make a request, please. More formal. I was wondering if you can borrow me your cell phone to call my friend in London. Oh my God, who you're going to ask that big favor? To who? I don't know, maybe I. Iris. Iris. <laughs> Iris. Of course, take it. Of course, take it. Oh my what? gosh, she's really generous. She doesn't care about the roaming. Don't <laughs> no, worry about no. that. Yeah. No, oh, no problem. No problem. No problem. Oh my gosh, she said, take it. London okay. is really near. It's really close. Don't worry. <laughs> we, we, we need to be friends again. Yeah, we need to be like closer. Oh my god, that's yeah. nice, right? Yeah, take it. Doesn't matter if I have the the receipt, right, and all the bill with four hundred dollars, but that's okay. Okay, <laughs> excellent, very good, Iris. Now is your turn. And what about number five, girl? Can I look at the magazine when you have finished reading it? Very good. That, guys, is a question, and we have used can, right, as a model. But I want you guys to make that question more formal. How are you going to do that, Iris? Oh, um, mm -hmm. uh, good you mean it? Can you look at that magazine when you finish reading it? Mm, that would be very good. Who are you going to ask that? We have Heidi, Janet, Ale, I don't know. Pick one. Alejandro. Alejandro, Alejandro, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's no problem. You can take it. Oh, he's nice, you see? He's a really loving guy, okay, very good. And last but no least, uh, Janet, are you still already with us or no yet? Janet. I think she's not there, right? No, Janet. No, she's there and she's not there. Okay, Heidi, what about you? 
Hi. Yeah. Hi, well. who's there? <laughs> Heidi, do me yeah. a favor. Read for us the last sentence, please. Number six. Um, I was wondering if you uh -huh. if can you... help me clean the house before mom and dad get home. Okay. Who you're going to ask that big favor? Um, Ivan. Ivan. Okay. Okay, Ivan. <laughs> you gotta do some house chores. <laughs> okay, just let me finish my homework and I will help you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> ah, he's nice, you see. And imagine Heidi, he never finished his homework. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Hey, guys, excellent job. Amazing. You rock. Very good, Miguelito. Also, that's good. All righty, guys. So, this is what I want you to do. We have practiced the speaking and great job with doing your homeworks. I'm so proud of you. Excellent, good, excellent job. Now guys, what I'm going to focus on, you see Ivan said woohoo as well. <laughs> Look at his eyebrows. You know what? Every time that you do like that, I remember so Muppets. And I don't want to offend you, okay? Don't worry about that. Now, I think I will, which one I remember? Um, Enrique? No, it's not Enrique. No, 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 it's, um, Oh my God, Pacho <laughs> from Sesame Palace, <laughs> Sesame English. <laughs> I, I will share with you in a minute, okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, guys, now I want you, we're going to focus right now on the pronunciations of some words, uh, of some letters that we use when we're talking about asking for favors. Uh, I want you guys to practice the pronunciation just not only to say it correctly, but also to try to sound more natural and more um, native. So guys, this is what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to play it in the, the audio, just like the way it is. And I want you guys to notice that when t, the, k, j, p, and v are followed by other consonant sounds, they are on release. That means that you don't listen to it, like right? very markedly. So I'm going to play the audio for you. Don't worry if you do not understand. Okay, don't worry about it. I will play it one time. And then I will share with you the questions with the letters in bold. The letters that they are there, but they do not uh, pronounce it so markedly. So I want you guys to pay attention about the pronunciation of those letters, okay? Let me just a couple of minutes. Hey, Mariana, welcome back, girl. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah, I'm like it. Yeah. Very <laughs> good. Very good. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Paradise. Huh? What? Welcome the paradise? The paradise. It's not, it's not yeah. one go to the jungle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you know what? Maybe you have noticed that uh, any words I I know uh, some songs, some music, right? That it has that. So I I I love to listen to music, guys. Oh, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I will share right now with you one music that um I don't know we're talking about with other guys about uh, there was an expression. Uh, what is it? It was related to friendship. Ah, yes, that's what the friends are for. That's what friends are for. And there's a song, you know, there's a song. That's what friends are for. Yes. There's a song with us, uh, with the Houston, Dion Warwick, Luton Bandrux, oh. and Mr. Stevie Wonder. Yeah, they were like, from the 80s. So I'm going to share right now with you that song later on when we finish the class. Not only to our practice English, because this is a really good letter. I, I know that you will love it, okay? Oh, so, yeah, guys, man. yeah. Uh huh, exactly. Who was singing that? That was from somewhere. Ivan, right? <laughs> Ivan. Okay. No. Nah. All right. So, let me share right now with you and let me know as soon as you can hear it. Okay. Let me just a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. 18. Can you listen? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. Exercise yeah. four, part B. Circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations with a partner. 1. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. Yes, but can you take it back to Greg tomorrow? 2. 
Would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bed? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest. Uh huh. Will you let me to play it one more time? Sure. All right, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to play it and I'm going to put it in a different one. So let me just a couple of minutes say, woohoo, okay. Oh, yes, that's the one that I need. All righty, so let me go up a little minute. So let me do some one minute. Let me share right now my screen with you. Jen. Unreleased consonants. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k, g, p, and b are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? Again, would you like me to play it one more time? Page 18, yes. exercise four, pronunciation. Unreleased consonants. Part A, listen and practice. Notice that when t, d, k, g, p, and b are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? All right, good. There you go. Now, guys, do me a favor. Let's practice the pronunciation. But now I want, I'm going to play the audio one more time. But this time, I'm going to share with you the questions, OK? And I want you guys to pay attention because the question that I will share with you, uh, they have some letters on the words that are bold, that are in black color. And that is the ones that I want you to pay attention on how they pronounce it. They're like B, P, T, K. Those are the, those phonetics. I want you guys to, to pay attention how they pronounce it, okay? And then we're going to do another a different exercise. So let me just cap hold on, man. There you go. Okay, this one is this. <laughs> Did you receive it already? Yep. I sent it to the WhatsApp right now. Yep. Cool. So now you have the questions. Please click on it. I want you guys to read it and at the same time try to read, try to listen the pronunciation. Okay. Let me play it one more time for you. There you go. Page 18, Exercise 4, Pronunciation. Unreleased Consonants. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice that when t, d, k, g, p, and b are followed by other consonant sounds, they are unreleased. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Can you ask Bob to help me? All right, very good. So you, it was really, it's a little bit hard, right, the pronunciation, but we're going to do our best. Okay, who can help me read the first one? Go ahead, Miguelito. Thank you so much. You're the best. What? <laughs> Miguelito. Miguelito. I think we have a problem, right? I, I think he's disappeared. In purpose. Okay. okay. In the meantime, we're waiting for Miguelito. Ale, can you please be so kind to read for me the first question? Mm, yeah. Um... You're best. Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Okay, now do me a favor. Try to uh, pronounce it a little bit faster. Okay. <laughs> Could Doug take care of my pet spider? Very good, excellent. Okay, Ivan, what about second question? Can you ask Bob to help me? Very good, excellent. Okay, uh, Juancito, a uh, second question as well, please. Um. Can you ask both to help me? Again, very good. Very good pronunciation, but try to put a little bit of speed. Can you, again, do it again. Can you ask both to help me? Very good, excellent job. Heidi, number number one, please. Heidi, 
Heidi. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Could dog take care of my pet's file? Very good. Could. No, don't say could. You say could. Could. Like there. Could. Oh. Okay, go ahead. You can do it again. Go ahead. Could dog take care of my pet's file? Very good. Excellent job. Iris, what about question number two? Can you ask her to help me? Very good. Excellent. Noria, what about question number one, please? Okay. Cool book, take care of my pet spider. Very good, excellent. Yeah, what about question number two? Thank you, Ivan. Can, <laughs> can you ask Bo to help me? Very good, excellent. Iris, what about question number one, please? Can you take care of my pet spider? Spider. spider almost, almost <laughs> perfect Iris. almost perfect iris but i the word spider i remember <laughs> there's a, a song that would, for kids that said the bitsy bitsy spider well, you heard about that no <laughs> okay i will share i will share with you okay okay so do me a favor do it again iris but do not forget the word spider go ahead <laughs> Could you take care of my pet spider? Yay! That's good. Awesome. Excellent <laughs> job. Very good. Marianita of my heart. Can you please pronounce the two questions for us, please? Okay. Can you ask Bob to help me? Okay. And the first one? Could dog take oh, yeah. care of my pet spider? Very good. Miguelito. Yeah. Can you also pronounce the two questions for us, please? Okay. Could dog take care of my pet spider? Mm -hmm. What about the second one? Can you ask Bob to help me? Yeah, excellent job. Yes. Woo -hoo. Okay. okay, we could, you see, uh, Ivan said like, <gasps> like that, right? That's amazing. All right. So do me a favor, guys. That was an easy peasy queasy. Now we're going to listen to the second part. And the second part, guys, basically will be two mini dialogues. Two mini dialogues. For number a, a dialogue number one will be just A and B, and number two will be A and B. That's it. But these ones, guys, what I want you to do is to listen carefully because you are going to circle for the question and for the answer for each dialogue, are going to circle the letters, the letters that they uh, do exactly like the first example, right? Circle the D, the K, the T, whatever, okay? So I want you guys to pay attention to the pronunciation. I'm going to share right now with you what you are going to do. And then I'm gonna play the audio for you, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. Did you receive them, guys? Yeah? So basically, guys, what you're going to do is to you're going to circle the unreleased consonants, okay? And in the conversation, that's what you're gonna do. Are you ready? What does it, what does it mean unreleased? Unreleased, consonants? the one that I have not pronounced it exactly, like the like the one that you heard before. They are they, but they do not pronounce it. Why? Because they like basically what had happened is that. The T, D, K, G, P, and B are followed by another consonant sounds. They are unreleased. What that means is that you, you don't you don't mark you don't mark those letters uh, when you pronounce it. You know that they are there, but you don't mark it. Okay, you got it? you understand? Yes or no, Ivan? Kind of. No. Okay. When you said you are is there the P, the K, the T are there. But when they are followed by another consonant, three, you don't three, uh, you don't like specify or pronounce those letters, right? When you speak, you know that they're there, but you don't pronounce them. Okay. Like for example, you said could. You don't say that, you said could, mm -hmm. right? You know, said back. You said back, right? Back. So they are on release. Release is oh. like say it. If they release, were, you if it. they were alone, we would say uh -huh. more mark. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. All right. Exactly. Okay. It is because why you don't unrelease them is because they are, they are followed by another consonant sounds. That's the reason why. Okay, guys. So you're, are you ready for me? Yeah. Yep. Or no? Okay, you better. All right. So let me check. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let me share right now my screen with you. 
Okay, don't forget, listen carefully because you're going to circle, okay? Ready? Go. Page 18, exercise four, part B. Circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations with a partner. One. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. Yes, but can you take it back to Greg tomorrow? Two. Would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bed? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Easy. Only one more time. Only one time. Or would you want me to, to, to play it one more time for you? Yes. One more time, right? Yeah. One. Okay, okay. One more time. That's because I'm a nice teacher. Okay, only one more time, guys. Page 18, Exercise 4, Part B. Circle the unreleased consonants in the conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations with a partner. 1. I was wondering if I could borrow that book. Yes, but can you take it back to Greg tomorrow? 2. Would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bed? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest. Aha. Uh -huh. So, guys, let's double check it. The first one, let's go back together. Let's go back together to the WhatsApp that we sent it to you. And uh, go ahead and look, guys, the first dialogue. The first one, the one that says number one. Okay, let's poop it up and, and work together with this. The first one, I was wondering if I could borrow that book. In that sentence, which letters you circle? Which ones? G. I'm wondering. G. G. I'm wondering. Okay, what else? Another one? D. D. Um, which one? In cold. Could. In could. Oh, in could. Yeah. could. Yeah, yeah, good. Could. Very good. What else? You're missing um, one. Book. Book. The K. the K. All right. Very good. What about in this in the answer? Just but can you take it back to the Greg tomorrow? Which one? What which letter do you circle, guys? Back. 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 I mean the K, right? Back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? Greg tomorrow. Greg. That means the G in Greg. All right. Very uh -huh. good. Not the whole world, Greg. No, it's the G, just the oh. letter. Okay. Very okay. good. Another one? Oh, that's it. That's it, right? Okay. What about in dialogue number two? Bea, would you mind giving Albert some help moving that big bag? In that particular question or request, which letter do you circle? Mm. When you circle Bea, it's oh. like the, the D, the P, which one? Uh, some. Uh, no, no, because we don't have an M sound. We have our P sound, T, K, or we have also, which one, what else, right? G. G as in good. Mm -hmm. D. D. Mm -hmm. No? No. <laughs> don't worry, Bea, don't worry. Okay. What about you, Ale? What you have for us? The D in wood. The D, yeah. Very good. Which one else? What else? Uh, the D in mind. The D in mind, okay. Uh, the G in given? No, in given, no. Given, no. 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 Given, Robert, no. No, but no. Why but, not? But Greg, yes. Why no? <laughs> uh huh, why not? Because it was released. Mm hmm And given you release it. It, it wasn't a, a consonant after yes. it. Uh-huh. Uh, exactly. Yeah. In Greg? Greg, yeah. The G again. What about guys in help? Oh, help. What about the word help? Help. 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 Yes, right? 
It's unreleased. It's unreleased. What about big, the G in big? Yes. Yeah, right, Marianita? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, what about uh, letter B? Sorry, but my doctor said my back needs rest in that one. Back. Back, the K, yeah. What else? Cell. D. D, all right, yeah. And the other one? What about T for rest? T. Mm -hmm. You don't say rest, you say rest. Rest. Yeah, yeah rest. Uh -huh. You don't like to emphasize. Ben, let me ask you, do you understand what we're doing? Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. Okay. No? Okay. That's what I was asking you because I'm like, like, she's in the mood right now. No, don't worry, Bea. Okay. The basic, basically, Bea, what we are doing in the listening practice, I know that maybe Noria also was really a little bit hard. Also, Juancito. Okay. Basically, Bea, what we're doing right now is that sometimes when we ask in a favors, like the example that, that we were uh, reading right now, there are some mm -hmm. words, right? Like D words, K, P as in papa, T as in tomato, or K as in kilo, that the, those letters are part of the word. Like for example, back, right? Or rest. But when you pronounce that, well, when you when you are like making a favor or asking for a favor, you write them on the on the word, but you do not pronounce them. Okay. So when I ask them to circle those letters, it's because I want you to like listen to that, to the question or the dialogue, and to listen carefully if the person pronounced that letter or no. Because most of the time, when we have a word that has those letters, but that that word has another another word that is a consonant. Sometimes you do not pronounce it. That means unrelease it. Release it is like say it. Unrelease it is don't say it. It's the opposite. So, for example, when they said back rest, you said, you said back rest. The back is there. The K is there. It's a sound. But you don't say back. You said back rest. You see? You do not pronounce it like in force. You know what is there, but you do not pronounce it. So that's what I want. Like when you listen to that word, you just circle the letter that is there. It's a K sound or it's T sound or, or B, B, like B, right? But you do not pronounce it. So basically that's what we have done. Now it's okay. much more clear, Juancito. Yes, yes, yes. Like, like, no suena. Uh, exactly. Like no suena. You, you said, Houston, do we have a problem here? Right? <laughs> okay. Same, same. Now, and <laughs> I said, yeah. Yes, I got it. You got it now, right? Okay, that's why. Because what I need, guys, is that you understand. That's what I need. So now, guys, we're going to do something because today we're going to focus on the pronunciation and at the same time to the listening part. So this is what I want you to do. We continue with the listening right now, but uh, it's different, guys. When you talk to a person face-to-face, -face, right? Like we're doing right now. It is uh, easy to understand each other. But when you are talking on the phone, sometimes it's harder. Why? Because of the people's pronunciation, or maybe because there's a lot of noise in the background, or there's no good communication. It could be any problem. Or the tone of voice. Imagine you just said, hi, how are you? Like, what? Right? So uh, that's why, guys, this exercise that we're about to do, basically, it is three co uh, telephone conversations, three of them. Okay? But each of them are going to make a request. So I want you guys to grab a piece of paper, any piece of paper. And I want you guys to divide it in four columns. The first column is going to be the person who they're talking to. Okay? The first one will be, I, we have, um, let me check, what's the name of that guy? Okay, yes. We have Tina, Kyle, and Phil with only one L. So I want you to put one, Tina, two, Kyle, three, Phil. Phil spells P as in Papa, H as in Hotel, 
I is an indigo and L like in Lima or lion. Okay, then the second column, I want you guys to put the name request because I want you to listen what is exactly the request or the favor they ask for, okay? The fourth column, the third column will be yes. And the fourth column will be no. What does it mean? That also guys, I want you to pay attention and listen if the other person agree to the request or did not agree, okay? That's all I want. I'm going to play it only one time. <laughs> Yes, so you gotta focus on that, okay? That's why I ask you to divide it. Yes, I was like, ah, I will have a heart attack. Yes, of course I know. But it's easy because they speak slowly. Come on. Okay, yes. Juancito, are you ready? Out of service, do not use. Come on, Ivan. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> All righty, so Iris is like, <laughs> hi, Mercy, how are you? Okay, are you guys ready? Mercy, Heidi, Marianita, Iris, yeah, yeah, everything's right. Okay, cool. All righty, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me pop it up here. Uh, let me pop it up here. There you go. Oh, yes, that's, that's the one that I need. Okay, there you go. I have it. Okay. Okay, guys, ready? Oh my God. Are you guys yes. ready? Okay. Yes. That's, that's yes. a spirit that I need. Energy. Come on. Teen exercise five. Okay, go ahead, Listening. Guys. Favors. Part A. Listen to three telephone conversations. Write down what each caller requests. Does the other person agree to the request? Check yes or no. One, Tina. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Two, Kyle. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. <laughs> Three, Phil. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <sighs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know. Polly. My bird. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy, and they make a lot of noise, and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. <laughs> all right, guys. So... In the, in the first place, Tina. Okay, what was the request? Marianita? Something about the camera. <laughs> Something about the camera. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> now we're not paying attention. Uh -huh. Yes, it's related to a camera, but for what? For what? For two days. 
Um, mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. Help her, guys. Okay. What else? Help me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she got a new apartment and she, uh, wa she wants to show the, the place to her folks. Exactly, you see? So she wants the camera to take pictures for her, this new, her new apartment. Okay, very good, excellent. Let me ask you guys, you see? Uh, Alejandro, help you, Marenita. Very good, excellent. And, and let me ask you guys, <laughs> did the person accept the favor or no? Yes. yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That person accepted. Very good. You said no problem. Yeah, no problem. It's a really good friend, right? Okay. What about Kyle? Request number two. What happened? What was the request, Bea? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Hold your horses, Marianita. Uh -huh. He has a new girlfriend, right? Uh -huh. yes. A new girlfriend. And what, uh, he, what he wants he, to do with his new girlfriend. All right, go ahead, but yeah, you can do it. He says, mm -hmm. he says I, was, I was wondering, I, I, uh -huh. I borrowed uh -huh. your, your what? Maker, bread, bread maker. Your bread maker. You see, I knew it. Excellent yes. job. <laughs> you can do it. Very good. A bread maker. But what happened? To the break maker it's broken it's, it's broken. broken exactly so did she as, as agree the the favor yes or no yes, yes. but it no. was broken <laughs> it was broken so uh, well at least he has to go to the bakery right yeah. <laughs> to buy some bread very good excellent what about number three <laughs> phil very good there excellent what about number three for phil what happened to phil ivan he said that was going out for a couple of days. Aha. Uh -huh. And he has a bird. A bird. What is the name of the bird, guys? Polly. Polly. You see, a beautiful name for Polly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So what happened? Did the friend accept the favor at the beginning? No. No. Why not, guys? She said. The bird, the birds are messy and noisy. And, and noisy, you, know. you see, bad uh, reputation for the birds. But yeah. what happened with Polly? Polly was a really unique bird, right? Yeah. It Why, Noria? Elegant. Why, Noria? Why? What happened with Polly? If Polly yeah, was a bird, Polly's... right? Uh huh. It was messy. Oh, oh yeah. Is is big? It's yeah. a bird. Uh -huh. Nice bird. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Polly was different. Polly was really nice and elegant bird, right? Nice and elegant. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So he's not to noisy. Be, uh -huh, no noisy, no messy. That is not true. But at the, at the end, guys, did the friend accept to do a, that favor to feel? Yes or no? Kind of. Yeah, right, kind of. Yeah. Do you remember what was the phrase that she used at the last? Iris, Miguelito, Mercy, Juancito, Bea. What was the phrase that he used it? Or she used it? You owe me one. Exactly, Miguelito. You owe me one. That means me la debes, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Excellent. Okay. It was a little bit hard, right? The listening. Because I ask you for a specific information. But guys, do you listen that they were using what we have learned for asking favors? They use it gerunds, they use using models, they use using clauses. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, it was a little bit hard this one, right? But that means guys that we need more concentration. More concentration. We're asked for details information. Why I do that guys? Because you, you, maybe you're not working in a call center. Maybe yes, maybe not. But sometimes it would be like really nice, right? If we were listening to somebody in English and there will be no noise around us, that would be the perfect scenario, the perfect one. But guess what? It's not the reality, it's not. So what we're doing right now, we're doing those exercise guys because I want you to try to develop your listening skill and try to focus on what you're listening doesn't matter 
if your environment is a quiet environment or you have a lot of noise around you. You gotta learn how to concentrate in one thing and do not let that, that anything that is happening on your environment uh, disorienting you, okay? That's why I do those kind of exercises because maybe we are in front and somebody will be talking next to you, back from you, on the other opposite side, whatever. Or maybe guys, you were like speaking English and then you will hear a background said, las tortillas, right? El atol de lote, eh, pan francés, right? Casadillas. And if you have a dog, right? Like Alejandro, and then Lulu says, Woo! right? Like that, right? She will start doing, Woo! like, you know what? Like whiskey. Every time that whiskey listens to Casadillas girl, he started like, Woo! he's like that. And I was in the middle of a call. Can you imagine? It's like, oh, whiskey, please close your mouth no so yeah that happens to me so you gotta learn how to be concentrated doesn't matter what kind of noises you have around you and that is something that we have to learn and that is learn guys because it's not easy it's not easy to be multitasking but that is one of the things and all the focus of these exercises Ivan you gotta say something right go ahead Ivan yeah uh, uh, uh problem that I have mm -hmm. that whenever I'm listening to somebody I need to look at him in in hair or his mouth mm -hmm. if I'm not doing that I don't get it like completely what they are saying exactly. I don't know if it's normal or, or not no no each of us has a different way to concentrate so that's okay that's okay as long as you make you don't make other people feel uncomfortable that's right <laughs> that's okay okay like <laughs> that's okay no problem yeah that's cool yeah but you know what that that works if that had works for you great okay so that's why guys i ask you to do that i know that sometimes are a little bit hard right because i think this listening part it was a little bit hard for you some of you right like bea like norita maybe juancito i don't know i don't know how you feel mercy or norita was it hard for you this listening part yeah. Turn uh huh. Yes, I can. Yeah, it was hard, right? Yes. It was hard for me. And you know why it was hard, guys? Because as I was saying at the beginning, it's not the same when you listen face to face that when you listen, somebody call you. It's different. It's totally different, and it could be for many reasons: environment, yeah. things, yeah. bad connection, or. Oh, the tone of voice is like, not like the teacher, like, right? It's like, da, 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 like that. So it could be many reasons. So that's why we need to develop our listening skills. I know that you today, today maybe you will you hate me <laughs> because I teach you what kind of exercises you put. Yeah, but you know that, that those exercises will help you a lot. A lot that you cannot imagine. Okay. Okay, guys, it's time for you to go back to sleep, to have dinner, whatever, to watch TV. Any questions, any doubts, feel free to ask, okay? I right, thank you, Ivan. Or if you want to and you're like, you don't want to say it right now or something, you can send me any information to uh, my phone and I will be more than glad to help you, okay? okay? Hey, guys, do me a favor and let me ask you, how are you with the platform exercises? Hmm. Okay. You're still working on that? Please do it, okay? And if you have any questions, please... I will be more than glad to help you, especially with the midterm, okay? Any questions, feel free. I'm not going to answer right away, but I will answer as soon as possible, okay? Okay, guys. Hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.